Hello, hi there lovely Pisces. I do hope that you are well. Welcome to my channel. My name is Bella and most people know me as Bella the Secret Psychic. And this is your love horoscope for October 2018. Sorry that I didn't make an appearance in September. I was away and then I was sick. And so unfortunately I couldn't get to do my YouTube videos because of that. But I'm back and hopefully it won't happen again. So... Most of you know that I like to just jump in there. If you're watching me for the first time, I'm a psychic and I read the energies and I interpret them and then I come here and let you know how to navigate, basically, um, those energies when it comes to love life successfully, okay, based on the information. Um, I have to say, uh, Pisceans, um, when I was looking at, at this before I came on, um, my guides were saying here, you're a bit like a flip-flop. So that's an English saying for a shoe that kind of flips about. Um, so like a sandal. Um, oh gosh, I forget how, what they call them in Australia and New Zealand. What do you call them? Those shoes, you know, that have, um, like I've got, I'm wearing them right now. I won't take them off, but a flip-flop. You're kind of flip-flopping in your energy about, um, I don't know, what someone offers you. <laughs> so I have to say it like this. If you are single in the first week, you have many suitors. You are highly attractive I mean all of you in this month are attractive whether you're single or not but if you're single it's like having pie <laughs> choice of many pies because I get many suitors so you're dating you'll get a lot of attention you'll get messages in, in your inboxes you'll you'll have a variety of people more than one that will want to date you if you're in an existing relationship I get the person that you are with gives you an offer of something so this can be an engagement. This could be, let's move in together. Let's buy a puppy. <laughs> they offer to do something which cements your connection or your commitment to each other. They offer you this. Now, the reason why I say you guys are coming across as flip-flopping, because as nice as that is, <laughs> you don't seem impressed. <laughs> Pisceans, and, and that's quite unusual for me to say that about you guys. You don't seem impressed at all. So the example I've just given you about your partners offering you like engagement or, you know, a puppy or something, you don't like it. So for example, you could like the aspect that you've been asked to get engaged, but the ring they've got you, you don't seem to be too thrilled about. There's something about what they offer you that you're like, is that it? Is that is that is that what it was like? It feels like a bit like an anticlimax, basically, and you're a little bit disappointed to the point where some of you start to question whether you're doing something right, whether you're with the right person. It, like it seems to really bother you. Um, I, mean, I mean, again, I mean, I'm giving these examples, but it could be the perhaps you, the engagement example, you may may have had a high expectation about how they would do it. And then they don't know, you know, take you to dinner and, you know, or, or whatever. And then they just ask you while you're sitting on the couch. <laughs> you're just disappointed. And that is the same for if you're single. If also you have all these options, you know, you've been asked for dates and you're just disappointed with who it is that's either answering you or you go on the dates and you find out that they're just a bit meh, a bit blah, a bit like you're just not impressed with their efforts or with your expectations, basically. So I think this might be a reading about your expectations and you being aware about your expectations and how that can cause disappointments and maybe to try to find the beauty in something different, you know. Because as I say that, so first week, you know, you get this kind of choice and you get this offering. Second week, it kind of bubbles and builds in you that you were kind of like disappointed to a point where you're kind of fix you know really asking yourself some questions and then I kind of get you sort of reason with yourself because that person has no idea you know that this is going on in your head <laughs> or maybe they do because they might see you kind of have a distance or you just don't see those people that you've been dating again because of it but in the third week so again let me break this down in the third week if you had been dating you're single in the third week you seem to have better success on paper, I have to say, because I'm not finished, you feel a bit more happier with the offerings in the third week. Same again if you're in an existing connection. Feels like you find a way to vocalise your dis disappointment. So they do improve. They seem to offer you something better or do something better. So the example with the ring, you might be like, oh, you know, I really do want to marry you, but I really hate, you know, yellow gold. <laughs> 
can we change my ring for white gold? Like, it could be something like that. That just makes you feel a bit more happier because you're going to wear it for the rest of your life. You know what I mean? I'm being, no, dumbing it down a little bit, but I'm just trying to kind of like give an example. Anyway, third week, they do better or you meet someone better on paper. But there's something still at the end of the month that's still niggling you. And I think my guides are saying here, and if I interpret this correctly, is basically question yourself as to why you feel the way you are. So the sort of things I'm getting is like you, like, like something is either still not good enough or you feel a bit stuck or trapped so again i'll have to use the example of the ring <laughs> if you were brave and said oh my god you know I, I you know I, i'd really like a white ring then they go and change it but then they change the design <laughs> because perhaps the same ring that you like the design but you wanted it in white gold wasn't available so then they get you a white gold ring but it's a completely horrible design you're then kind of like oh well i kind of got what i wanted but but now they've changed it and it's actually I'm still disappointed because now it's not as pretty. <laughs> like, I, like I said, I, I'm kind of like simplifying this or just kind of like making light of it a little bit as an example. But my guides are saying here, question yourself a little bit as to why you feel the disappointment that you feel or, the, or if you're feeling stuck. Because with that example, then you may feel like right now I feel like I'm stuck with this ring because I feel if I bring it up again, then how does that make me look? <laughs> but it's eating you up. So it's been, oh, so again, if you're single and you've met this you know, person in the third week that feels so much better, but then you're still questioning, oh, well, maybe I could do better. Why are you thinking like that? You've been asked in the last week that the only thing you need to do is to go within and start to really soul search as to why you have these doubts, why you feel stuck, why you feel like you're disappointed. Is it the first time you felt disappointed? Is this really truly for you? It's a little bit like that. So that's why I say you're a bit like a flip-flop. You flip, you're flipping around. <laughs> flipping from trying and then being disappointed, then being happy, then being disappointed again. I think if you can look within, then you might find the answers that will help remedy the way that you're feeling about the situation, which may lead you to then communicate and talk, or may, maybe for you to move in a different direction or to make different choices. Only you will know. Pisces, what, what is the right answer for you? So do soul search, basically. <laughs> do let me know how what happened. You know what what, what was what was disappointing. <laughs> how did it play out? We, we we might be able to help each other here. All right, <laughs> just put it down below. So this was your reading for um, October. I will be back next month. And if you'd like to unpick your dilemma and you and you want to soul search with somebody, then. I'm happy to do a private reading. The link is just down below. So take care and I'll see you next month. Bye.